and your most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thacker. Good morning, everybody. Great to be with you on this new week, and we are starting things off on a very chilly note. Let's turn to Ephrata right now, and it's quiet here in the downtown as we take a look at Lancaster County, and let's shift to Cumberland County now, and we're going to head to Mechanicsburg, also very quiet, but what you cannot see here is how cold it is. We're going to get into temperatures here in just a bit, but it is a chilly start. Here's some of our weather net sites. 21 in Louisville. We've got Enola down into the low 20s. I mean, there's a hard frost out there, so you're definitely going to want to give yourself some extra time to scrape the windshield off this morning. 24 at the St. Patrick's School in Carlisle. West Perry Middle School is at 26 degrees. Calm winds and clear skies are leading to this. You know, yesterday was a chilly start as well. We hit 32, but today most of us are in the 20s. And keep in mind the airport Unfortunately, we use it as the official number, but a lot of times it's too warm, and that is the case right now. 50 degrees, also the high yesterday, and we should be getting a little bit warmer than that today. But once again, we're concerned about the lack of rain. We have not had a drop of rain in November, and our yearly departure uh, is coming in at uh, over 9 inches now, probably heading toward 10 inches before we get another drop of rain. So satellite and radar picture is quiet, and that is thanks to high pressure. I mean, it's been nice. The weekend was nice. It was a little more... Uh, cloudy on Saturday and a little more sunny on Sunday than maybe what we had originally thought. But still, it was a pretty nice weekend for November. We've got 26 in Chambersburg, 24 in York, 28 in Lancaster. Most places are in the 20s, again, except Harrisburg. So uh, unfortunately, again, the official site not really representative of the region this morning, as most of us are in the 20s. Even Allentown dipping to 23 degrees. And this is about 5 to 10 degrees colder than where we were yesterday. So a drop in temperatures. It's going to be chilly, and you're going to want to really switch over the wardrobe now to more winter-like clothing, right? I know we're still going to get some warmer days here, but the mornings are going to start to be cold and kind of stay cold. So we've got a weak front producing some rain and snow showers up in Canada now that is going to be crossing through here later today. It's not going to do anything here. It's going to be a rain-free front, but what it will do is turn things breezy and uh, kind of keep things on the chillier side early this week. But again, there's no rain with this front. I mean, it is a dry frontal passage, and behind that, more high pressure. We've had the pattern where a lot of the deep south has been in drought, too. They are getting some beneficial rain along the Gulf Coast here over the last couple of weeks. We continue to wait for that here, and we don't see it early in the week. A nice afternoon today, a nice night tomorrow. Chilly mornings, frosty mornings, a nice afternoon here on Tuesday. Wednesday, we will get a few more clouds to enter the picture, but still no rain. We're not looking at any rain until the end of the week and likely heading into the weekend. Now, in terms of a breeze, I think Precision Cast underplays it a little bit today. I think it turns breezy by this afternoon uh, and again tonight. And then tomorrow afternoon as well, it turns breezy behind the front with more of a northerly wind at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So the temperatures today should be climbing into the low 50s here. It is going to be a decent turnaround uh, given the fact that uh, we are starting in the 20s. We should climb by uh, about 25 degrees here this afternoon. The extended outlook does show temperatures pretty much even here, not uh, swinging wildly. We will get a bit warmer by the end of the week ahead of another cold front. Temperatures go from the low to mid 50s early in the week, which is pretty seasonable into the low 60s here Thursday and Friday. And that's going to be our next chance of rain Friday into Saturday morning. It's not going to be a lot, but it will be something. And then we turn breezy behind the front. We'll follow that with perhaps a midweek front next week uh, during Wednesday. Wednesday, of course, a big travel day next week, right before Thanksgiving. So we're going to keep an eye on that. 53 degrees, sunny and seasonable here today. Tonight down to 39. Not quite as chilly, and that's because of the breeze that will be kicking around. A breezy day tomorrow at 53, and then 56 here on Wednesday. A few clouds, but uh, nothing that's going to produce any rain. Our next shot at some showers will be Friday into Saturday morning. And then we will clear out for the rest of the weekend. It does turn breezy here over the weekend as well and a bit cooler back down into the low 50s. So just a great week ahead. We mm -hmm. need the rain, though. We're going to try to get some here by the first part of the weekend. Yeah, nice and quiet, though. Yeah, for now. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Brett. We'll be right back.